Today we'll be preparing one of my favorites, the shrimp toast scoggin. While it's enjoyed as an appetizer most of the time, it can easily serve as a full meal during the summer periods. And please bear with me as I've recently moved, resulting in the use of very unconventional containers. So you might spot me using a frying pan for shrimp and dill for example. But hey, let's not that distract us from the delicious food we're about to make. So without further ado, let's dive into the recipe. Begin by peeling the shrimp. We need to remove the head, the shell and the legs from the body. It's not a very fun process to look at, so let's fast forward. Next, we need to rinse and chop a bundle of fresh dill. Once cut, toss the dill into the frying pan and turn your attention to the onion. Divide it into four sections and then dice one of these quarters into smaller cubes. Now for the bread. Slice your loaf into your preferred thickness. I prefer it on the thicker side. Now we can move on to making the skagen. In a bowl, start by combining 2 dl of mayo followed by 1 dl of creme fraiche. Add 1 dl of sour cream and a teaspoon of Dijon mustard. Next, what we need to add is the dill and the shrimp. Mix the ingredients thoroughly. Then taste for salt, pepper and cayenne. The skagen shouldn't be spicy, but you should feel something on your tongue. Before we move on to the bread, please consider subscribing to my channel, it helps me a lot. Ok, so moving on, it's time to toast the bread. Heat oil and butter in a pan. For a slightly healthier alternative you can use a toaster, but I highly recommend the flavor that comes from using both butter and oil. Then fry the bread until it's golden on both sides. Then all that's left to do is the plating. Start by placing a slice of bread on your plate. Put two lettuce leaves beneath the toast and then add the skagen. While I usually incorporate the red onion into the mixture, I'm serving this on the side this time for someone who doesn't like red onion. Don't forget to include a wedge of lemon to press on top of the skagen. And that is it for the classic toast skagen, but we're not done yet. If you're feeling adventurous, try a variation by adding smoked salmon and freshly grated horseradish on top. It fits so well together. And yeah, there you have it. If you're still with me, go ahead and smash that like button. I appreciate you taking the time to watch all the way through the end. Stay tuned for more cooking related videos. Have a fantastic day.